This video has been sponsored by Brilliant. This is an apple. Just a regular apple. But that's kind of the problem with it. It's just regular. Wouldn't it be better if it also tasted like a grape? Well, that's something that somebody thought about years ago. And they made a product called a grape bowl. And when I saw this, I really wanted to know what it tasted like. However, when I went out looking for them, I couldn't find them anywhere. And when I looked online, it seemed like the company just didn't exist anymore. I have no idea what happened to them. And I couldn't find even a single news article talking about the company going out of business. But their website is just completely gone. And it seems like you just can't buy Graples anymore. But I need to know what it tastes like. So now I figure my only option is to try and make one myself. And uh, hopefully it tastes good. So the first thing we need is an apple. But what we also need is a recipe. And we found a patent online that covers the process. And under example two, we have a perfect recipe. Nice. You basically just have to dip an apple, and they say here a Fuji apple, which is what we have, into a solution of grape flavor. And down here, they say to use just a pure concentrate of methyl and thranolate. And specifically, they say a 26.4% concentrate, which is a very weird random number. And I don't even know what the rest of it is. So we had some trouble figuring out how to kind of recreate this ourselves until we stumbled upon the perfect solution. Bird stop. <laughs> Bird repellent. That's insane. But look, by right here, by methyl and thranolate, by weight is 26.4%. That's exactly what we need. Yeah. The only disturbing part is it also says that 73.6% are other ingredients. Hmm. Yeah, that would be very concerning, except because this is being used for birds, they had to make this food grade. That makes it safe. I mean, I, I don't think there's a separate classification for bird food grade. And, you know, if it's good for a bird, it's probably good for us too, right? Yeah, let's go. Crack it open. All right. And then we're good to get started. Check out the goop. Oh, it's anticlimactic. Ooh, that broke really easily. Oh no, it's dropping. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I thought it was gonna be a clear solution, but it's like this white gooey liquid. This is, uh, yeah, it's not something I expected, but I mean, he's gotta, he's gotta, just gotta keep going. Yeah, just run with yeah, it, man. I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, so. We need a little beaker now, and I'll pour some out. Yo, that grape flavor is strong. Mm. Okay, look at that goo. 40 mils, I think. That's it, that's all we need. Now, we need another beaker, and distilled water. We see enough to cover the apple, in theory, but I'm just, I don't know, two liters is easy. Okay. So, all we have to do now is add the bird stop into the water. Uh. <laughs> this feels like I'm just adding paint into water. Are you sure there's none of that in there? <laughs> It did say that it was food safe. Okay. It's all in there. Just gotta stir it now. And hypothetically, what, what I'm hoping I'm making is a 0.5% percent 
solution of methyl and threnolate. So the 26.4% concentrate just got diluted by about 50 times. Doesn't look good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend. I'm not gonna pretend that it looks good. Kind of just looks like. Kind of just looks like a a beaker full of milk. Kinda. It re look. It just. It really just looks like milk. Do you think it tastes like milk? Uh. Let's see. Wow. Just tastes like uh, grape, but really strong, and kind of burns your tongue. Okay, so I think we're basically ready to go. And according to the the patent, all we need to do is take our beautiful Fuji apple and dunk it for one minute. Oh, that's interesting. It feels so smooth on the surface of the apple. It's like slimy. Either way, what we have here is supposed to be, I think I mentioned before, a 0.5% solution of the methyl and threnolate. And in theory, it should be soaking through the skin of the apple. That, that, that's, that's the theory behind this. Do you know why it's one minute? No, just, just, to moderate how much um, methyl and threnolate actually gets through. If too much gets through, maybe the flavor becomes too strong. Uh, like now, when we realize that it's 12 seconds over. Okay, <laughs> stop. Okay. And according to the recipe, you just gotta, just gotta leave the apple here for one entire day. That's it? For now. That's interesting. Yesterday, it definitely was letting off some grape smell. Whereas now, I can only barely smell it. So I think that means that it soaked in through the skin and it's inside the apple now. <laughs> but either way, what they say now is we have to take this apple and just put it in the fridge for 24 hours. And I'm not entirely sure what that does, but I think it just probably gives more time for the grape flavor to fully infuse and distribute itself in the apple. Hmm. Okay, time to see what it looks like. We can get rid of this little sign. And again, it looks exactly the same. Just like a regular apple. Oh, it smells like grape. Definitely smells like grape. Okay, we'll take it to the other side. Okay. It's finally here. It's finally ready. And I guess, I guess now I just have to taste it and see if we successfully made a grape apple. I think it worked. Really? I mean, it's a grape flavor. <laughs> How strong is the grape flavor? It's like, it's mild. Like that's what's nice about it. It's just a regular Fuji apple, but it has a hint of grape along with it. It's interesting. Does it taste chemically a bit? No. That's insane. You want to try some? I'm down. Alrighty. Whoa. This is delicious. It tastes like Kool-Aid and an apple mixed together, like grape Kool-Aid and an apple mixed together. This is crazy. 
So I think this turned out way better than I thought. It's actually, it's legitimately good. I'm impressed. I'm just hoping that the bird stop we used to make it is not actually dangerous. So just to be clear, I don't encourage anybody to buy bird stop and to make grapples with them because it's food grade, but it's still, we, this was still all technically done at our own risk. So who knows? We made a nice grape apple, but we might all die from it. Wait, what? <laughs> So in the end, this all turned out way better than we thought. And still, I'm genuinely surprised how good the apple tasted. The only sad part is that after filming this, we were able to fully confirm that the grapele is completely dead and there are no future plans to produce it. What isn't sad though, and is in fact exciting, is learning something new. And this is why I'm very happy to introduce the sponsor of this video, Brilliant.org. If you haven't already heard of Brilliant, it's a learning platform with tons of interactive lessons in things like math, data science, and computer science, and I think they teach them in a really fun way. This is because all of their lessons are fully interactive, which makes them feel a lot more like playing a game, and this definitely makes it way better and a lot more interesting than just watching a video or reading a textbook. What I also think is really nice is that all of their lessons and courses are chopped up into many small sections, which makes it possible to learn and progress on Brilliant without any major time commitment. For example, personally, I only go on whenever I get the chance or when I have five minutes here or there, but I've still been able to complete several courses. Just recently, I also started their course called Exploring Data Visually, which covers many ways to analyze and interpret data and how to visually present it in things like charts and graphs. This is honestly something that I've never really thought too much about, but so far I've already learned a lot and I've been really enjoying it, especially the case studies that they included. But with all that being said, I've been really enjoying Brilliant, and if you want a fun and simple way to learn something new, I definitely recommend checking them out. Right now, you can also get everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, by going to brilliant.org slash Blue, or by clicking the link in the description. On top of this, by using this link, the first 200 people will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Done.